Satchitalada. Satchitalada, Thai, RTGS, Satchitlada, born as Shovali Wangcheroan, Thai. RTGS, Chowlet Wangcheroan, May 5, 1962, in Kanburi, Thailand, was formerly twice WBC and lineal flyweight champion, having defended the title against nine boxers in total professional boxing career built a reputation as a Muay Thai fighter under the name Shovali. Sit Fafram, Thai, before making the transition to professional boxing. He fought numerous times with Muay Thai legend Samart Payakarun. After winning his first four professional fights, he challenged WBC light flyweight champion Yunku Chang on March 31st. 1984, losing a 12-round decision. His ring name, Satchitalada, comes from the name of Man Sorte Patana, Thai, dot. RTGS, Man Sochipathana, another boxer under the same manager. But Sorkit Patana. Losing by the former WBC light flyweight champion Netronoy Sorvora Singh and likely to retire. But the name Sorkit Patana also in the ranking of the WBC, his manager was a subrogate. Shovali Sitfrafram to fight on behalf instead Mun Sorkit Patana. Later the rankings of the WBC was incorrect, Sorkit Patana became to Sat Chidlada eventually. World Flyweight Championship Undaunted by the Chan loss, he won two more fights and a little over six months later. Shocked WBC and lineal flyweight champion Gabriel Bernal, winning the world championships. In his home country at indoor stadium Huamark, Bangkok. Chitalada is perhaps best remembered for his fights with Bernal. The two met again twice in Bangkok. On June 22, 1985, Bernal fought Chitalada to a 12-round draw, Chitalada keeping the titles. Bernal made another attempt 18 months later, but on December 10, 1986 he lost. Another 12-round decision to Chitalada. This was Bernal's final attempt at the flyweight titles. Chitalada brought stability to the WBC and lineal flyweight titles, the six title holders prior to. Bernal all losing the belts in their first defenses, and Bernal losing his second defense. The first Bernal fight, Chitalada made six title defenses, and won several non-title fights. During this run he defeated former world champions Charlie Magri and Freddy Castillo. He lost the titles. On July 24, 1988, traveling to South Korea and losing a 12-round decision to unbeaten, at that time, Yong Kong Kim. After winning three more fights, Chitalada lured Kim for a rematch in his home country of Thailand. This time, it was Chitalada who came out on top, winning a 12-round decision. Chitalada made four more title defenses after he regained the titles. In his third defense, he made his second fight in the Western Hemisphere, defeating Richard Clark by an 11th. Round knockout in Kingston, Jamaica, thus retaining his titles. For his fourth defense, he traveled to Seoul to avenge the only other loss in his career, to Yunku Chan. Following the Chan, Right. On February 15, 1991 Chitalada defended his titles against fellow countryman Wonkai Kitakisen. This fight ended Chitalada's reign as he suffered his first knockout, Kitakisen. Stopping him in round 6 to take the titles. Chitalada won two more fights before challenging Kitakisen to a rematch, but the result was the same, this time it ended in a ninth round stoppage. That fight would be the last of Chitalada's career, he retired and never attempted a comeback. Post-retirement. Chitalada is a Thai Muslim. 
After retirement, he studied at the Faculty of Humanities, University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce. He is the first Thai boxer who graduated a bachelor's degree. He worked in the public relations department of the Thai Airways already resigned. From 2006 to 2007, Chitalada taught Muay Thai at the Muay Thai Institute of Kanpanli in Salt Lake City, Utah. He has since moved to teach martial arts in California and in Utah. While being in Utah he would visit the Thai temple that was located in Layton, Utah. He was honored as many people would come to him for autographs. He spoke broken English but was very eager to teach his Muay Thai class in the early mornings at 6 a.m. His style was different from the other teachers that were there. He definitely brought the world of Thailand to Little Utah. One move that he was recognized for was the jumping air kick. Most of his former Utah students miss him and wish him best of luck in his new location of training. See also Sahasombops Rizembongs Lineal Championship List of World Flyweight Boxing Champions